Hello, my name is Kevin Pierce with Expo. Today, we'll be covering connecting your FIP 500 to Wi-Fi and updating the software. So first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I'm going to power on my FIP 500 if I haven't done so already by holding down the power button for a couple of seconds. And once you have, it will start up. And then once it starts up, it will launch you in to this main screen. So for the FIP 500, I'll go ahead and launch the menu. And then from there, go down to settings and then scroll down to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and make sure they're both enabled. Once I've done that, then I can go over to my smart device here and download the Expo Exchange app. Get it either from the company store or from your smart device uh, application store. In this case, I already have it downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. And as soon as I launch it, I'll be in this screen here. So down at the very bottom, I can continue without an ID. And then you'll see this blue bar up here. I'm gonna go ahead and press it. And then that'll give me the option to connect the test unit. So down at the bottom, I'll connect the test unit. And I see the 500's available for me. So I'll go ahead and select that. And it's now trying to connect to the unit. On the unit itself, I might have some, uh, some, uh, some dialog boxes that pop. If I do, I go ahead and acknowledge them. Now my FIP 500 is connected. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the FIP 500. And you'll see where it says reaching out to your test unit. And then once I've done that, it's now time to connect the Wi-Fi. So I'll go ahead and highlight Wi-Fi and it'll search for any nearby hotspots. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my home network here. And then from here, I put in the password. And once I put in the password, I'll go ahead and hit connect. And this will connect your FIP 500 to Wi-Fi. So now my FIP 500 is connected. I can go ahead and back out of this. And then from my FIP 500 here, it is already connected. So I, I now have it connected. What I'll do is I will scroll down to the update manager. And this one right here, this is just a simulator. That's why it says no internet connection. So if you don't have an internet connection, you'll get an error like this. Otherwise, you should have... Uh, an option within the unit itself. You can scroll down. So I'll go to settings. And I will scroll down to software update. And it will check for software update. And if there's any available, it will download it. So right now I am up to date. So now my FIP is up to date. And I am fully connected with my smart device to my FIP 500. And that is connecting your FIP 500. My name is Kevin Pires. Thank you very much.